hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well today i am going to show you how you can animate any object according to the path so without any further delay let's get started so here i open my blender and here is my car model so if you can see here is here is a, i attach my all car parts with a one link and if i move this link like that so you can see the tire is moving accordingly the direction so if you want to know how i did this so you you should watch this video i will put the link on the i button you can find from the there okay so let's start the video so first of first i will add a uh, one path and i will rotate 90 degree and i'll be scale little bit after that i'll just stretch out these points like that yeah then i'll make something like that if you want more part you can click e and make more part and if you want more curve if you want to subdivide this uh, curve so here is the resolution preview if i decrease this you can see the edgy path and if i increase the resolution you can see the smooth path so after that what i will do i'll just place my car the edge of this path like that and i think i should scale down little bit my car yes and i will rotate my car accordingly the path like that so after that you just select this car link and after the this path and press control p and here is one option is called path follow follow path so if i click this so here you can see if i play the animation the path will be for the uh, the car animation the car will be move accordingly to the path here you can see and uh, if you notice the animation is ending on around 100 frame so if you want to uh, increase this speed and decrease this speed and if you want to uh, this animation more frame so what you have to do you have to go the curve setting and here is the one frame rate if i put the 250 so that animation will be slow but uh, it will be play end of 250 so means if i decrease the frame rate so it will be fast and if i will increase the frame rate it will be slow so i will set on 100 this is by default so after that what i will do i will make one bridge for this so for that i will take one cube and i will scale down like that and i will scale after that what i will do i will add the one loop and control b for bevel for that and after that i will select these two polygons faces and control e what move then i will go to the modifier tab i will put the array modifier and i will change the directions and i will change the number of so after that what you have to do you have to put one more uh, modifier this is curve modifier and here is a object i will select the path 
if i select the path so if i move like that so here you can see the bridge is moving accordingly the path i think i should decrease the number of uh this is 10 so i'll just stop so here you can see here is so too much edgy path so what i will do i will go to edit mode and i will put the loop tool and add some loop on it and after that you will find the smooth path is here yeah then what i will do i will just little bit up this car and if i will play the animation you can see it's going on this bridge and after that i will add some pillar so what i will do i will add one cylinder on and i will scale up a little bit like that and i will put same array and i will keep the number of 8 and in that time i will increase the distance between these uh, after that i will uh, add same curve modif modifier and I define the nov path if i define the nov path you can see here so i we need some like that Where you can see, I just uh, decrease or uh, increase the width. Yeah, here is our bridge is ready. And uh, yeah, after that, I will put the camera. So what I will do, I will go to here and add the camera. And if I want camera view uh, wait I think I should be if I want to follow if, you, if I want to see this car from this video I will press ctrl alt 0 the camera will be active and after that I will just set my camera angle according to me my okay but if i will play the animation the car will be gone but camera still there here so what we have to do what we will do same thing we will select the camera we will select the now path then click ctrl p and follow path so if i go to the camera view if I play the animation, that camera also move with the car. Then I will add the another camera, and uh, I'll go I will rotate this. I'll go to view camera and active camera then if I want that angle if I want to and I will do the same thing with this also select the camera select the now path control P and follow path if I'll go to the camera view you can see I can see my car view in this angle also and if you want to toggle this camera just click it go view camera and active camera you will see this that's it for this video thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you have any suggestion if you have any queries so please let me know in the comment box i always love to read your comments i hope you like this video
थैंक यू बाय बाय